So there's a lot of talk in general right now, not just on Team Lucid Dreams page, but uh, on many others right now of people talking about having dry spells. And uh, so I'm going to come in today uh, saying a little bit about this. Uh, some of it may not seem related to you at this point of, of hearing the video, but it is related. And so I'm going to just sort of put together a few ideas and hopefully some of you will find some benefit from it. Um, the first thing is that there's a reason why uh, people often begin uh, having consciousness expanding experiences such as lucid dreaming, in particular uh, dream induced lucid dreaming, before they start having the wake induced lucid dream or conscious OBEs. And that's because they've begun to let in a bit of the truth that there's more to reality than this physical reality system. Uh, but the opening has only opened so much. They're still holding apart what we like to call dream and what we like to call reality. A dream is still being considered not reality. And so it's okay to go into these states and do fun things and things like that. But <laughs> that's only a bit of the truth. So long as reality and dream are being held at bay, so long as they're being held separate, then only so much of the truth is being let in. And until more of the truth is allowed to be brought in, by no longer holding reality and dream at bay, by no longer holding reality and dream apart, <laughs> then then experiences will be sporadic. Your lucid dreaming won't happen very often. It'll just happen every now and again, maybe. You'll have to try really hard, probably, to get it to happen. But it is, as soon as you're ready for more of the truth, as soon as you're ready to let more of the truth in, you'll notice that your experiences start happening a little more easily and a little bit more regularly. Uh, and that happens through, you know, make no longer holding a division between reality and dream. This is why I posted one of my first post that I made to you about reality and dream. Okay, so that's the first thing. So this is sort of funny. One of the first things that I was told by my guidance system when I was first learning to connect with it was that I was a communications specialist. <laughs> At the time, you could not have told me anything more amusing, anything that would have made me laugh harder than that did at that time because if there was one thing that I didn't like doing at all it, it was talking to people uh, I, I've, I've sort of been a, a bit of a, a recluse <laughs> throughout my life uh, um, uh, pr preferring dramatically to you know uh, spend time uh, by myself in the middle of nowhere, if possible. Uh, so to be told this was really funny. Um, it began to make sense, you know, in later years when my uh, lucid dreaming and out-of-body experiences and astral projecting uh, began happening, uh, I began to see uh, more clearly what these experiences were and how they were induced, how they were brought about. What they are, uh, from one way of perceiving it, is 
uh, an inner communion and communication with various layers of my being with me, with this layer of my being. And so I could see that by uh, opening myself to the communication with these inner layers of my being, I could uh, have direct experience with them through out-of-body experience as astral projection and lucid dreaming. Um, so this is my suggestion for you today. This is how I learned to um, instigate experiences myself uh, when I wanted to have one. My experiences, when they began four years ago, it happened regularly all the time, you know, many times a week, lengthy experiences. Uh, almost no uh, time to acclimate between experiences. But, for instance, if I happened to be sitting here and was wondering something and wanted to have one right now, I could induce one by establishing an inner dialogue with what I like to call my inner layers. Uh, here at ground level, we're the, we're the question asking element. And so uh, one of the ways to induce experiences more regularly is by knowing what your questions are. Uh, when these uh, consciousness expanding experiences first begin taking place, the, the, the questions are, are immeasurable. D d Come into a clear awareness of the questions that are arising in you about reality and the way it works and begin to ask them. Open yourself to your own guidance system, ask the question, and then make yourself available for the answer. And for those of you who are willing and able, you can receive the answer via OBE's astral projection and lucid dream. You can receive them firsthand in these type of experiences. So that's my suggestion for you today. I hope you try it on and share with us uh, anything that happens to happen.